Hello, I'm Shulina. Hi, my name is Chris. Hey, you guys are my daughter go Holy Cross School. Can't see what we do at Holy Cross School. I developed the intensive oral language program because of a, a concern that there are many children at five that come into school who may not have had a lot of experience with English because their families perhaps are immigrant families or because there are other languages used in the home or simply because in those families a lot of language use isn't, isn't the norm. So these children are capable, they have good brains, they are intelligent human beings. So children learn language by having lots of um, meaningful, um, memorable times when language is used and also when they get lots of opportunities to try out their own use of language. The other aspect which Holy Cross does just so beautifully is that it connects with the community and so it wasn't going to undertake uh, a program such as the Intensive Oral Language Program unless the families were part of the journey and that's exactly what they did. So over the three, four years now, it's coming up for the fourth year of implementing the program, the people that have been in the training and who are also the ones that are implementing so amazingly, beautifully, the program, have carried the thoroughness through. They haven't relented on, on being thorough, on making sure that's as good as it can be. And in the detail, that means regular meetings, it means sharing on Google Drive, it means preparing just gorgeous material as best as you can. It means really involving families. It means delighting in looking at the data and saying, you know, this is the evidence. So it's the thoroughness of, of being determined that if something is going to, if something looks like it's worthwhile, and we can see that it probably is, that we've got to give it the best shot we can. And this is exactly what they've done here at Holy Cross Minima. So part of the success of the program, I believe, is ensuring that every aspect of it is sustained because we know that it works for every child who comes into the school, whether they have English as a first language or English as an additional language. At the end of 2015, we had a student who came into the school and she didn't speak a word of English and I think it would be true to say that she was traumatised because this was her first experience of school. So we had a teacher aide who worked alongside her and for the first few weeks all that I heard her say was the teacher aide's name. Yet at the end of last year when we assessed her as a six-year-old student, she was achieving at the level that is expected of a six-year-old student in New Zealand. So to me, that illustrates really clearly the power of this program because of the huge, huge development that we saw in this child. We've been involved in the Intensive Oral Language Program for three years now. And during that time, I've seen a transformative change with the students in our community. Three years ago, I had a little girl in my class called Selena, and she's now in year three. And from when we first started and after the input we had gifted to Selena, I saw an amazing change in her self-confidence, her ability to um, communicate with others and her energy and enthusiasm for learning. One of our earlier topics was on pirates and Selena's mum came in one afternoon and she brought a pirate hat, a pirate sword and she was so proud and it was just great evidence that Selena had been going home and talking about her learning. And now when I see Selena after three years of gifting of language and growing of confidence and she's standing so much taller and she is confident as a learner and is, is wondering about the world in, in so many ways and, and that, sh that is the greatest um, sort of illustration for me of how, what the power of this program is. So can I do a video? Thank you for watching this video. Okay, I see your I video. Thank you for watching this video. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching this video. video.